Tonight, our investigative team has found both the Davidson County Criminal Court clerk and County Court clerk have been giving their family members jobs and paid internships. And once county clerks are elected, our Jeremy Finley found they have pretty much free reign over their departments. In criminal court clerk Howard Gentry's family tree is daughter Taylor. And when he decided to branch out at the office and hire someone to do part-time social media for expungements and outreach, he didn't have to look far to fill the position. She was what I thought was ideal for it. But Gentry never advertised the part-time job that pays roughly 20K plus a year, never interviewed other candidates. In fact, his daughter never even applied for the job. It was just given to her. Did you essentially create a taxpayer-funded job for your daughter? Uh, the, position, the, the position was there. We didn't ask for new money or a new position. We had an open position. But if nobody else applied, how do you know she was the best applicant? Because she was the best for what I needed. But how do you know there wasn't somebody else that... I don't know that there wasn't somebody else. I, you know, I'm not... There's always a better person. But WSMV4 investigates found it's not just in the criminal court clerk's office. In the county clerk's office, Brenda Wynn's grandson, granddaughter, and niece have all received paid internships. Her grandson was eventually trained and moved into his current job at more than $42,000 a year. In your grandson's case, was anyone else considered for the job he has right now? Once they trained him to do it, um, and there was turnover in the office, what they said was, would he consider doing it full time? I said, you guys have to talk to him about that. Your grandson got a job that no one had to apply for. He essentially got the job. I've got jobs if they want one. Wynn says in her office, everyone who's applied for a paid internship was placed. And she's frankly having difficulty filling all positions. I need bodies in seats. I think it sends a bad signal. Both nationally renowned ethics experts, William Hall and John Policiero with the Marcula Center for Applied Ethics reviewed our findings. I think fundamentally it's wrong. Hall says even if hiring is difficult, he believes clerks should not hire or give paid internships to relatives. It looks bad. You're dealing with the taxpayer's money. Anytime you engage in activity or behavior, at the very least, gives a hint of impropriety. That's bad. And I don't think that it's necessary. But both Wynn and Gentry say they do not violate their office's nepotism rules because they do not directly supervise their relatives. In these cases, the clerks are not supervising their family members. Does, so does that mean it's not nepotism? No, it, it's still an issue because um, it's within the scope of responsibility of that office that the clerk is responsible for everyone who works there, even if they don't directly report to them. You know, taxpayers that will see this, what do you think they will think about this? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to, you know what? I have to be honest with you. I'm not the first person that's done this. We also wanted you to know that clerks have no oversight during their term, only voters and only during re-election. We also want to point out that we checked with juvenile court clerk and the circuit court clerk. Neither of them has hired their relatives.